G'day trendsetters and bedwetters, it's old Goose Rooter here from Geraldine. So a wee while ago I had a wee idea. Well I've actually had lots of ideas and I overthink them and overthink them and then uh, I've actually had to simplify things along the way as well. But I had an idea of getting a 40 foot refrigeration trailer and converting it to a mobile home and accommodation and going on a tiki tour. But you know, when you look at things realistically it's like it's going to cost a lot of money and both to buy the trailer and to kit it out and then it takes time. So with the help of a really great mate, I've got my hands on a caravan. So I'm going to do my tiki tour, talk about life, mental health, depression and that sort of thing. But one of the things I actually want to do as well, I've been out talking to the young farmers, the Lions Clubs and all those sorts of people and I've organised my own uh, nights up in Mayfield and they've been really, really good. But there's two groups of people out there that keep the country ticking. One of them's farmers, one of them's truckies. So the plan for the man in the caravan is to get the tea and coffee and the milk and go and park up on some of the laybys in the area and be there for truckies to have a yarn. And I don't care if they turn up and they tell me the latest knock knock joke or if they turn up and try and convince me why they're driving the world's best. It's like good luck to them. Or if someone actually turns up, wants a coffee, but needs to have a talk. And just, you know, could be just a shit talk. Could be a bit of a talk about life. And just a bit of reassurance that there is light at the end of the tunnel. So that's my plan. So hopefully I'll get that kicked off in the next couple of weeks. So I've been talking to some uh, people. And we're going to have uh, like monthly giveaways and that sort of thing. Uh, and my mate Angus at Tiny Towing Solutions. He's hooked us up with a big Kenworth uh, barley in the bench top to be raffled off to uh, yeah, a bit of fundraising money to help me with this venture. And I've had other people come out of the woodwork that are getting behind me with support, ideas, bit of funding and that sort of thing. So that's really, really good to see because everyone understands that life can get tough and they want to be out there and help me support the truckies and the farmers and that sort of thing and it is you know quite uh humbling the messages i get from people saying oh shit we've just watched your video you know about life and you know that's made a lot of sense that's you know helped me put life in perspective so that's what i want to do there's I've, I've said it now a couple of videos it's like you know truckies and farmers and you know those sort of people will go get in their truck or their tractor in the morning and their problems are the size of a teaspoon but they overthink things and by the end of the day, those same problems are now the size of a digger bucket. And sometimes it's just a wee bit of reinsurance that it's okay to not be okay. It will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, it's not the end. So that is my grand plan for the caravan. So I'm going to get that kicked off in the next week, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to go park up at uh, the lay-by between the two Rangitata bridges, have the tea and the coffee on, talk to the truckies about life, and you know, if they want to try and convince me that we're driving the world's best, go for gold. But yeah, if you see me down there in the wee caravan with the Suzuki, they haven't actually quite decided yet whether I take the white Suzuki that I use for piloting, the pink Suzuki, or the mighty Datsun. Because they're actually all, you know, just as recognisable as each other. But that is the plan. So if you are out there and you've watched the video, I'm quite open to constructive criticism. But also uh, tag your mates that are truck drivers that are, you know, passing through Rangitata on a regular basis. Because, you know, they might just want to stop and have a, shit, it's a ghost rider, we'll have a yarn. Or they might actually need to talk about life. So... That's the plan. But I'll uh, keep you posted a couple of days before I head out. But if you've got truckies, you know, as I said, mates that are you know, cruising through the area, let them know that you know, if they need to have a talk about life, I'll be there.